Hello guys and welcome back again to chemistry class chemistry and today we are continuing our study on terminologies that have to do with what electrolysis and we're going to be looking at discharge or deposition okay all right so uh, do not forget this video tutorial is brought to you by the OTR school jump app okay it is expedient it is necessary i cannot over overemphasize the importance of you getting that app so please get that app immediately and what and start practicing today activate the app do not be scared to pay activation in just three thousand as at the time of shooting this video it may increase later okay so please get your app download it activate it and start practicing pass your jump at once okay now discharge or what the position if you have been following our series you what you will be able to what to understand what we are doing here today but you have not started this class with us right i'm sorry you are doing yourself okay so now what is discharge or this or the position i will explain using an example so if i give in that let's say two ions a plus and what and b plus or let's say x plus and y plus we are to be in competition right for discharge at the cathode during electrolysis respectively if I told you that, that these two ions or these two ions were to be were to be in competition for discharge, okay, at the cathode during what electrolysis, respectively, and then we are told that, for example, let's say we are using what these two ions, I told that what that A plus was discharged. If I told that what A plus ion was what discharged, okay, it does not mean, or it would be it would be wrong to say that what B plus was deposited, right? Please understand. If I told that two ions A plus and B plus were to be in contention, were to be in competition, right, for discharge at the cathode during electrolysis, okay, and then we are told that A plus was what discharge, okay. Now it would be wrong to say B plus was deposited. Instead, right, instead A plus that was discharged, okay, we see be the same what A plus that is what that is what deposited, okay. It will still be the same A plus that is what deposited. Okay, so now the point is that whatsoever a ion right is discharged that is discharged from a solution. Okay, whatsoever a ion that is discharged from a solution, you see the same a ion. Okay, that will be what deposited on the electrode. You get that point? So whatsoever a ion that is discharged, okay, from the solution, you see the same a ion that will be deposited on the what on the electrode. Please get that point and get it very, very well clear. Now, during electrolysis, the electrolyte, the electrolyte now, electrolyte is split into two ions. It's split into the positive ion, right? And the what? And the negative what? Ion. So, during electrolysis, the electrolyte, okay? Is the something that is split, right? Remember what when we talk about electrolytes, we'll talk about electrolytes. So please go and start watching these videos from the beginning, from the beginning of electrochemistry, or when we started talking about electrochemistry, uh, electrolysis, rather. So please go and watch them. Elect an electrolyte is a substance that is what that is split during electrolysis. Okay, so now during electrolysis, the electrolyte is split into two ions, the positive ions and the what and the negative what ion. Now the water that the substance is dissolved in, the water, water, H2O, the water that the substance is dissolved in, right, is theorized to exist as H plus, OH minus, and H plus, and H plus. The water that a substance is dissolved in is theorized to what exists as what, OH minus, and what, and H plus. Now, after you have known this, it is important to know that the that the positive ion from the word from the compound, okay, the positive ion from what from a compound and the hydrogen ion from what from water, right? The positive ion from the compound, right, and the hydrogen ion from the water, they both migrate, they work hard, they migrate to the what to the what to the negative electrode the positive ion let me put that down the positive ion ion from the compound and the hydrogen ion from the water both migrate 
both migrate to the negative electrode that is now the cathode okay so this is what happens during electrolysis the positive ion from the compound and the hydrogen ion from the water both migrate to the negative electrode that is what the cathode now after this what now happens next the negative ion now from the compound the negative ion from the compound and the hydrogen ion right the negative ion from the compound and the hydrozeal that is the oh ion oh ion from water right both migrate to the positive electrode that is now the what the anode okay so the negative ion from the compound and the hydrogen ion from the water okay both migrate to the positive what electrode that is what the anode okay now they are now at the electrodes they are now at the cathode these ones the positive ions are now at the water the cathode the negative ions they are now at the what at the anode then at the electrode right the ion that has a preference for discharge the ion that has a preference for discharge is discharged the ion that has a preference for discharge is discharged while the other ions remain in the solution okay now when they get to the and when they get to the cathode eventually okay when the positive ion get to the cathode and when the negative ion get to the anode eventually the ion that has a preference for discharge is discharged okay the ion that has a preference for discharge is discharged okay and of course it is important to know also it's very very expedient to know that there are factors that govern what the discharge of what of an ion during what electrolysis there are some factors there are some three main factors that what that would enable what the discharge of what of a ion during what electrolysis that what you must consider those three factors one of those factors is one factor that what one of those factors is what number one the uh, position of the ion in the electrochemical series okay so this is one of the factors right this is one of the factors the discharge of a ion right the discharge of a ion there are some three main factors that govern the discharge of a ion during what electrolysis okay one of those factors is what one the position of the ion in the electrochemical series then number two of course is the concentration concentration of the ion in the electrolyte the concentration of the ion in the electrolyte is another factor that govern right the discharge of what of a ion during what electrolysis and thirdly is the nature of electrode used okay so three main factors that govern the what the discharge of ion during electrolysis one you must know them all okay the position of the ion in the electrochemical series two the concentration of the ion in the electrolyte three the norm the nature of what of electrode what to use these are the three factors that govern the discharge of ion during what electrolysis you must know these three factors and in a soon episode in the next episode to come we start looking at these factors one after the other so that we fully what understand what how what uh ions are what are discharged or deposited what during what electrolysis okay so uh, my name remains uh, Master T, and of course, in the, in the next episode, I would love to see you. But before then, please like this video, subscribe, and keep sharing. Thank you for watching.